You ready? Our third flux cast. It is the 2nd of May of 2024, and we find ourselves in a beautiful geodesic dome deep in San Juan in the mountains of Ibiza. We are sharing space with 30 or so beautiful human beings which have joined us today, not only to become music together but to express their love and their passionate relationship with this mystical medium. If it's so, oh. She first kissed you. Oh, what a mysterious story. I wanted to be a lawyer. <laughs> so, how to put it in words when I feel this vibration of excitement to be here in this loving space? I was introduced to the mother medicine grandmother Aya when I was in the beginning of my 20s, just a little fiddling of little being of great joy and inspiration and she opened me like nothing have ever opened me before i started to sing and do
So I used to feel her just opening pores, opening sounds, opening spaces in my body, in my soul. I was crying. I was remembering lots of things from this life, from other lifetimes. Crying for days, making sounds. A -E -O -E -O -E -U. A -E -O -E -O. Dear friend, I would like to ask you something. As a person who has dabbled in psychedelics, I have realized that certain plant medicines, certain substances, certain spirits crystallize and are activated by certain melodies, certain songs. I know that there is more than one facilitator who would confirm that if the music isn't right, the mother is not visiting that party. She's not coming tonight. I also feel that each one of these means of communion has a particular vibration. Have you explored that during your co-creation? I've explored that once or twice or a few hundred times. And what I can share from this moment now when I feel your love, your curiosity, your invitation for this communication is that mm, there's each song has a channel that comes from one space and opens one space in us. And there were these great, great composers of spirit that were walking in the woods or sitting with the tribe and receiving from her directly songs that open up our healing, our inspiration, our remembrance, our community, our yeah, so Master Irineo, Padrino Sebastial, all the beautiful tribes in the Amazon. Each song has an intelligence. Each song has an intelligence. Intelligence that comes from a space and opens a channel and creates a vibration that moves something in us that helps us to release and remember. It's a lot about remembering. Remembering something that we already know. We do, right? I completely agree with you. I feel sometimes that there are melodies, that there are little phrases that take us to some place far, far away, and yet they are deep within us. They have always been there. They're only waiting to be activated. There was one that we were singing previously here, which is quite infectious, which is the one. La, 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 la. Of this intelligence, this beautiful, beautiful intelligence, mm. and a person who shares music is a bearer of vibrational wisdom. Mm -hmm. Would you share a song for us? Mm. A song that that puts you in connection. Wow, well, um, I, I have to admit, I'm feeling very excited and shy also, and very full of love. So I can try. As Master Yoda said, there is no try. <laughs> yeah, Master Yoda, he's this wise guy from, uh, from, from Star uh, Wars. From Star Wars. <laughs> mm. If you could play the beginning just slowly for us so that we can Let's feel it. Um, I mean, not my song or my song. Any any music that was an intimate relationship to you which you would like to share? Mm -hmm. 
I want to invite everybody actually to breathe with me so it's easier for me. guide you. when we sing, continue. To think about something you want to dedicate your voice to. What are we singing for in our lives? Is it a dream we have? Is it something precious for us? Is it our family? part that we just sang means with love everything is true with love everything is certain I live in this world and I'm I have all the richness that I need yeah I'm very excited so join me
expect music to hold them but they forget that you have to hold the music as well and so when we have these little minor moments of musical confusion for me it's one of those moments where we can actually rewrite the codes that we have with the music like with relationships like when you think that I have to speak to a person or relate to them in a certain way and they do something terribly awkward and all of a sudden you're like actually I like this strange part of you I like this dissonance
say yo in a way oh mama faye so mba wa se mo yo le yo mba so faye to mba wero yo se fo un che in power been fascinated by the way that music can put you into a state that you can listen to the Beatles and you become the Beatles that you can listen to ACDC and you become ACDC and as a child I remember that the biggest aspiration I ever had was having a band with kids my age that said we're fucking cooler than the rest of all of you fuckers and we want to create another vibration. Yeah, this kind of idea of rebellion, of creating some music that inspires a new way of thinking, a new way of feeling, a new way of relating. I love you, Yogi. But then there's a question. And you know, this, this youthful hubris, that perhaps there's a music before that we've disconnected. And there's a very interesting anthropologist, musical anthropologist, I forgot his name, but he said that music used to unite us rather than divide us. And music now is one of those things where it's like, I listen to this, you listen to minimal techno, I listen to classical, I listen to jazz, and you define yourself into certain cliques. Where it used to be that we would sit and relate to our parents, our grandparents, and our ancestors through the music that it was a direct connection. I met some women in Cuba which would sing a song for a week, which had their whole tradition. And then the spirits, the Orishas told them, the song is over. These girls that like reggaeton, they're not worthy of the song. Who has a song for us which would which rekindles memories, which connects us to something beyond. Llena de fuerza las cascadas 
which are more than singers, they're also channels. One of them which sits with us in the room today is Sherry. And Sherry is a person which when she opens her angelic voice, she claims, and I well believe her, that she connects to the archives, to the vibrations of higher dimensions. And I would like to invite Sherry to the microphone, either to share a little bit about her relationship with music, or to share a melody, a song, anything you would like to share that would bring us to a sense of serendipity. Many, many memories, 
Present in the room. If you are present in the room, can I get a woohoo? Woo <laughs> now I may have primed that vibe with a woohoo. Woo <laughs> woo but music can also be a tremendous source of joy. For me, it's interesting when I go into connection way above. I feel God flick me with his finger and say go back to where you belong <laughs> with ten fingers rhythm it's the Eastern European within me it's the mischief and the problem is when you mix it with Colombian you get something very complicated we have another person here with us today a good friend which I have been speaking to in Spanish since I met because I thought he was a medicine man 
from the Amazon jungle until he said, Oye, brother, I'm Turkish. <laughs> and I have realized that he is one of those bearers of musical magic, which has taught me abundant lessons and also an understanding and a disposition to humility and knowing how to bear unbearable weights. Tao, can we ask you to share? Tao, can we ask you to share? Tao, can we ask you to share? As you get comfortable in this space, I'm going to tell a little bit of a story about you. <laughs> because I've always thought that I know a thing or two. Until you meet a person who knows a little bit more than you do, and then you have to reconsider. And about four months ago, maybe three, we were having Mambi, Virginia, you, and me. And I asked you about the essence and the core of mysticism. And I don't know if you recall, but you mentioned that at essence, at the core, there is animism. And that is all. That there is a belief that there is spirit in everything. In the rocks, the plants, and the human beings. And so I wanted to ask you if you believe that there is spirit in song and for those which are singing. The song carried the memory of spirit, of the eternal melody. You're going to share a song? Can you put it a little bit closer? Just the microphone, a little bit closer. Yes, this is flux cast. It's sometimes messy. I'm sorry. This is real humans making real music. Uh, the cable, it has to go be behind that little peg. The cable? No, no. Yeah, like around Asichuk. Perfect. So it's not in his way. Can we get a sound of appreciation for Tao? on spot I know how to catch you Um 
Ancestros medicinas, espíritu mente, camínate libre a las sagradas pájaro gente, medicina. Let me ask you a question. And I'll share a little bit of context. My first mystical experience with music was when I was 13 years old. And I was playing a Fender, Str Fender Stratocaster through a big 100-watt Fender amp. <laughs> And we know because we both like the same depressive uh, post-punk music of the late 90s. So we have something in common with this gentleman. <laughs> but uh, the first time I had a mystical experience, it wasn't medicine music. It was, it was the guitar screaming. And I was alone in my room and all of a sudden I felt that there was someone watching me. And I became very uneasy. But afterwards, I realized that if the music is good, you get the feeling of that other presence. Someone else came to listen. If you're two people making music, there's a third. If it's 10, there's the 11th. If it's 100, there's the 101st. And as a person which works with circles and channeling and connecting people to something higher, I wanted to ask you about that connection that feeling, that presence. You mean the third, the, the, third? <laughs> the witness in the space? Yes. I, I, f I feel like when, when we come together, when there's a circle, when there's a circle you of joining together in, in um, harmony, harmonizing, uh, create a, a collective soul, a collective spirit that's, that's been created through the presence of each one here. And... And you relate to that. You know, and, and then bring more goodness through everyone. That's beautiful. Are there different spirits? Are there different souls? Who? Or is no. there only one? No, there's, um, I think, the individual soul of, of every person or, or being is, is one with the universal soul. We um, and we, we 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 get to nurture our spirit and uh, and our soul with that, in coming together, in praying, singing, dancing, and you know, it's a spiritual nutrition, and uh, that's that's just been absent for a while here. <laughs> spiritual nutrition, spiritual nutrition. It's so good for us. It makes us feel so nice and complete And it nourishes the entirety of us So delicious, so nutritious It is proper medicine And I was thinking perhaps we could ask my friend Moshe to share Because he's got a festival called Medicine And they've been working, they've been bringing medicine people from all over And they realized that more people needed some of this good nourishment and if you don't feel too shy over there perhaps you could join the microphone and the people over here uh, eh, and share something beautiful with all of us ladies and gentlemen can we get a, a, a round of applause to encourage Moshe Halperin yeah. and can we get a big thank you for, for Tao Tao mi tao. Tao mi tao. Tao mi tao. Who else said a song? Cece, you said you had a song. Who else had a song? Bueno, I'm going to share a song today. 
What? Uh, while we wait, we can do that. Da 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 It is a spiritual nourishment Which fills your soul with joy Spiritual nourishment Washa, what will you share with us today? Do you want to share us a little bit? Of, I'd like to hear the song that got you hooked on music The, 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 the song that got you hooked on music Oh, God. Um. <laughs> the song that got me hooked on music. I mean, if you're not feeling it, you're not feeling it. <laughs> I, was, I was just curious. I mean, that would be like Pink Floyd or something like that. To get away the moments that make up a dark day. I love Pink Floyd, but no, whatever, whatever you're feeling. Is he connected? than tells. <laughs> what? It's like, um, I mean, uh, this song it feels like um, a dolphin like swimming through the sea. Always free. 
just close my eyes and breathe.
Come on, Shay, let me ask you a question. Because uh-huh. <laughs> we're going to do something with that song in a moment. And being a person from, from the UK, you're from the UK, mm-hmm. right? I remember that day, everything that was British English was the envy of many other countries when it came to culture and music. You know, you had the Beatles, you had the Who, you had and so many Pink people. Floyd? Pink, I mean, Pink Floyd is, is my absolute favorite. Yeah. I, what happened to music and why is music from the UK and why is there you know you grown a festival so quickly why is there this interest for music that comes from another space um, why is there an interest in England for music or why do so many great bands come from England no no a place which has so much beautiful music, so much tradition, right? Yeah. Why is it looking beyond? What is it? What has happened? What is? Oh, why is there well, such a thirst for music? because I, I think like England has lost, like the British Isles have lost their connection to their own traditions. I would say, and so they look outside, like they looked, uh, like their traditions are like Druidic um, or Avalonian, and their kind of me- their medicine is is mushrooms, like the little mushrooms that grow. And um, that tradition, those cultures have pretty much completely disappeared from from England, from the British Isles. So they look. I'm not sure if I'm answering your question, but um, but um, so people that are thirsty for, like, hungry for, um, like Tao was talking about, like that, like spiritual connection to nature, and uh, look elsewhere. Like for me, when I first heard medicine songs I was here in Ibiza. Really? Yeah, and I heard like a little, con- like a Moringi playing the sitar and Amu playing the um, classical guitar. And I, this is like maybe 18 years ago, and I, I'd never heard of plant medicines. I'd never heard of um, any of the, those sort of sacred plant teacher medicines, but I heard this music and I felt like in one hour of just sitting in a circle, I felt like like I never tried heroin, but I felt like someone had shot me up with heroin. Like if like should we perhaps try? Heroin? Maybe, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Would that be a good idea? <laughs> um, maybe, yeah. But I, but so for me, like from me coming, from, I mean, I'm Jewish, but from so I have it, I have that tradition. But from coming from being born in England hearing those medicine songs just touched me, something that I hadn't ex- ever... Ex- I was like, what is this music? Who are all these people? How do they know all these songs? Like, what is... Where is... What is it? So I started f- personally, like, for me to explore the medicine songs from all over the world. You know, like the mantras and the, the South American songs and the Portuguese songs. and the, But... um, And actually in this dome was, like, changed my life. One, one night in this dome changed my life forever. Yeah, You're not the only it's one. it's a very special. Yeah, like I'm sure I'm not the only one sitting here, but one night in this dome with karaoke changed my life forever. So, like, irre- irrevocably, irreversibly for the for the good, right? So, but um, <laughs> I think or at least that's what you think. Does your family agree? <laughs> I, I think everyone agrees. Ladies and gentlemen, can we get a big round of applause for Moshe? Yeah. Don't, don't go anywhere, just yet. Grab that guitar, because we're going to do something to that song. I believe that music is meant to travel. I believe that music likes to be reborn. I believe that no musical music is original, and it always looks for fun in different forms. And so I love I love this vibe
if I see La Aura swooning like she was on the moon, that would be infectious. It would put me right in line. So how is it? It will make the difference. It will fill the space with your joy. The illusion of rapture and pleasure. It was what brings people to enjoy. So sing it with us.
comes to an end I'm happy to weave my frequency with that of friends I'm glad to share the beautiful delight of music with so much passion, beauty and might I think we're awfully close I feel you in my ears Come closer, I feel you in my heart Come closer We're gonna close with that, let's come closer But before we close the transmission I would like to thank everyone who showed up I'd like to thank Ilona first of all For offering this lovely space So that we could all, all show up Yeah, of course, Can we get a big thank you for Laor? I think Tao may have left. Can we give him some love? Tao. He needed to get back to his boy. I know that much. Can we get love for Nikki? Can we get love for Luki as well? Can we get love? You know who was helping out? Karen was helping out a lot with the singing of many things. Let's give her some love. Thank you, Karen. Yes, come This transmission was nice and polite to your ears. We hope it expanded your understanding of music. It was just us sharing, having fun. It was an experiment, it's something we try out. And for that, I want to share my gratitude with each and every one. I don't know exactly what the fuck we're doing here, but I reckon that it's good for our humanity. So everyone's showing up and doing their part and reminding that we have this magic to share. It fills me with love and beauty and creativity. And it makes me feel that there's something here though we don't know quite it is. And I want to thank you for the bottom of my heart. If you show up, you contribute any way you can. That is so much, that is everybody doing their part. Whatever we can. <laughs> That's how we come closer. 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 Virginia sings so beautiful. And Laura sings so beautiful. Suni sings so beautiful. Everybody sings so beautiful. Imagine if more people did what you do and they started singing and understanding that their voice was a beautiful way of bestowing beauty on everybody. I want to finish this. This. This is. No, no, no. It's okay. I would like. It's possible still to share a little bit in the space, but for me, there's something a bit of a journey journey has to begin and it has to come to an end and I think nobody can ask for anything better than to end. <laughs> right? The end. <laughs> exactly. Right? Right? So I think today, as we shared about music, and there's so many people which would like to share Thank you.
Jesus. 